What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can slash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free channel, collective reading, caps suicide, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free channel, collective reading. Love you guys so much. From the bottom of my heart chakra, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love you guys. Okay, so um, I received a channeling, so I'm going to deliver it. Uh, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 13,125 or something like that. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, well, not really. Just saying. Okay, so... um. The channel message I received was um, someone has been sending monitoring spirits to your home. I heard residence. Um, but through many series of chain events, they're, the magic is about to seriously backfire on them. They're about to get haunted when the monitoring spirits in their own home. Um, they are about to turn on them in a huge way. Dark entity monitoring spirits. Which, I don't know. I'm not really familiar with monitoring spirits. I don't conjure up demons on the dark side or never have never will but some kind of monitoring spirit energy it doesn't sound friendly it doesn't sound like friendly uh, casper friendly freaking ghost if you ask me just saying just saying um hurts dark entity monitoring spirits well a monitoring spirit would be something to watch over you but like in a creepy deepy lurky security guard of the spiritual realm way is what i'm gathering from this so as somebody that um practices on the dark arts so they sent dark entity spiritual realm security guards to lurk over your ass what but i heard through many series of chain events basically it's about to backfire on them the dark entity demonic attachments that they sent to your home and your residence because i heard residence is about to boomerang back on their ass and um about to start haunting them in a huge way a huge way it's going to cause huge mental health issues here and fast oh my god i heard uh okay so it's about to backfire on them in a huge way uh whoever these people are cursing or people that sent these dark entity monitoring spirits um to your home uh on the dark side i heard it's about their their so the dark entity monitoring s type energy here is about to turn on them basically it's about to turn they're about one or two or two plus how that resonates they're about to turn on them and start hunting them so it's about to really really backfire and it's about to get them it's about to get their ass i heard it's about to be so bad it's about to cause huge mental health issues soon and quickly because their whole intention was for them to have to send out creepy lurkery creepy security guard spirits to get your ass but they're about to turn on them and start haunting them. Um, I heard it's going to, excuse me, cause huge um, mental health issues in them. So um, whoever you are, I think you're high in the spiritual realm that it automatically returns to sender is what I think. Because there's a reason these dark entity energies are about to turn on them. I think it's because you are, you're protected up in the spiritual realm. You are high in the freaking spiritual realm. So whatever they're throwing at you is automatically boomeranging back, returning to cinder, baby. That's exactly what I think. Absolutely returning to cinder. Oh my God. I heard absolutely returning to cinder. Yeah. I mean, I felt it was returning to cinder. I mean, I told y'all that, but I'm serious. Um, that's exactly what I think is going on. I think you're so high in the spiritual realm that it automatically just returns back. It's automatically boomeranging back on their ass or about to. Um, and it's about to just, it's, I heard it's going to cause severe mental health issues in them. It hasn't done it yet. It sounds like it's about to do it soon. But they shouldn't, shouldn't have uh, sent out, um, like, Cougar the Creepy, Cougar the Creepy, uh, whatever, whatever. I mean, some kind of weird entity. What? I mean, yikes. Spirit messages you have reflected. The thinking woman reverse. Indecision upright. 
Number 47 or 8 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 47 or 8, it could be a possible age as a viewer, somebody you're connected to. Or any other significant number in one's life. It could be a possible age of a child or you're somebody you're connected to. Or a possible age of you, somebody you're, you or somebody you're connected to. 47, 8. Thinking woman in reverse, indecision upright. This is about to seriously creep this person out in a huge way. It is about to cause huge mental health issues soon and quickly. Huge. And these monitoring spirits are not going to give up. And they're not going to go away. Oh my God. Whoa. I heard it's going to cause huge mental health issues soon and quickly. And the monitoring spirits are not going to give up or go away. So you plug it in how it resonates. So the monitoring spirits aren't going to give up um, on this person, whoever this person is. I wonder if it's an Aries femme because I've been pulling in a lot of dark arts, wielder Aries femmes. Um, it could be. For some, it could not be. But however that resonates, somebody's about to get attacked with their own. Ju Basically, somebody's pull putting out bad juju on somebody in the spiritual realm. They're about to get that shit back. That's basically what this is. Somebody's putting out bad juju on somebody in the spiritual realm. They're about to get that shit back. Except I feel like 10 or 20 fold. Whoever this person is. Um, I heard it's going to, the monitoring spirits are not going to give up. They're not going to give up. And it's going to cause severe mental health issues soon and quickly. So I think for a lot of you guys, you're about to see this manifest in 3D in somebody is what I think. I think they might get mental health hospital, um, hospitalized, like maybe they check their own self into a mental health treatment program or something happens to where they go out and they start acting all cray cray in public and then like police come get them or something or something like that. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not, it's not, it's not funny. Um, I just, I just heard rubber bus. <laughs> That's not funny. It's not funny. I heard rubber bus though, but we really don't have those kind of things um, in the world, rubber buses. But um, I, however that would occur, I would assume the police would probably get involved. And then I'm assuming, I don't know, I'm not the police. But um, I will tell you that somebody is about to get their own shit back. And it's about to manifest in the form of, mental health, severe mental health issues. I mean, severe, but it's because they're sending these crazy dark entity monitoring spirits out with somebody, but it's, it's a, either already has, or it's about to boomerang back to them because this person is just so high leveled up so high in the spiritual realm. It's not even trending their ass anymore. I think at one point, maybe it did, but it's not, that's not the case anymore. So now it's going back. It's about to happen soon and quickly. The thinking will reverse. Um, this is, um, maybe I think they're going to start acting impulsively, um, very, very acting, very irrationally, impulsively and acting very erratic. Um, I think the spontaneous crazy behaviors, which is going to cause, um, severe mental health issues and possible mental health hospitalizations for some of these people and then indecision upright. Um, I think they're going to be very confused, very undecided, make very impulsive decisions. Um, because they will be harassed by the own, all, their own juju that they're putting out to other or others, whoever this person is and how that resonates. I mean, honestly, this is karma for them. This is karma for them. I do feel sorry for them, though, but they shouldn't be dabbling in shit they shouldn't um, know nothing about, nor should be trying to project onto, project onto other people. And I'm just being for real. I mean, I'm serious. One of these people will become so insane, mentally insane. They will start babbling and drooling. What the holy hell is going on here? Um, 
you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. I think one of you guys is about to see this shit. And I'm just being for real. I heard one of these people is about to become so mentally disturbed, basically, from the their shit they're putting out, trying to put out to other people that it's basically is about to come back on themselves. Sounds like 10 or 20 fold here. One of them's going to start babbling and drooling. So this isn't like even word salad, I'm feeling. It's not even like fucking word salad. It's babbling like baby blah 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 not even like fucking word salad like orange toast coat hanger like shit that don't make sense this is like blah 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 babbling babbling or like uh, nah, 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 nah. and drooling more baby type behavior i wonder if they're gonna revert back i mean i don't know this is so disturbing so fucking disturbing you plug it in how it resonates man Okay, I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helps. Namaste.